Ink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become part of the family. My name is Z and I love to do tons of home, lifestyle, and fragrance related content. So if that's something you loves are interested in, you're definitely gonna wanna hit the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Valentine's Day fragrances. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite Valentine's Day scents of 2022. These are all the scents I think would work well on Valentine's Day. I'm gonna try to kind of categorize them by either date night scents or um, daytime date scents or Netflix and chill. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like the video if you like it. Also, all of my social media will be linked in the description below. You guys should totally head over to my Instagram where I post tons of pretty pink girly content. We are on the road to 20K. I think I'm at like 17.4 right now. So if you guys are not, bless you. <laughs> If you loves are not following me on Instagram, please head over there and support your girl. Other than that, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. I have all of the fragrances. Okay, so all of my favorite Valentine's Day perfumes are right here on this tray. I'm gonna share those with you guys first, and then we'll get into like fragrance mist and things of that nature last at the end of the video, but I really want to show you guys the perfumes first and foremost. The first perfume I wanna show you guys is a Pink Sugar. You guys have heard me rave about this fragrance. If you have not seen my review, I will be sure to link the playlist of all of my fragrance videos in a description below so you guys can check out all of those reviews and things like that. As I will not have a lot of time in this video to give you a review or go over it in detail, but what I will tell you is this fragrance is super sweet and candy-like. It smells just like cotton candy Candy and just bubble gum it's just so it's just so sweet the main thing you get is just in the forefront is just a pure cotton candy so if you're a sweet um, cotton candy or gourmand type pastry type girl then you're definitely gonna want to get this this is yummy yummy this will make him want to eat you up girl if you have not tried this fragrance please go and check it out I have gotten a few comments from other people saying that when they try this fragrance for some reason it doesn't smell the same on them as it did on other people um, or that it smells like licorice I myself do not think it smells like licorice I don't I don't know if they just got a bad batch I'm not entirely sure you guys why yours smells like licorice but mine does not it smells just like pink cotton candy it smells so good I feel like this is more of a brunch date scent for Valentine's Day but you could also wear it as a Netflix and chill as well but then I'm also like girl if your man likes sweet stuff and fruity stuff and candy like scents girl put this on you at night for a date night mm. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's keep it PG. This is YouTube. Next on my list is the Ariana Grande's Thank You Next fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. Again, you guys probably already saw my review of this. I do wanna smell it right now though. Mmm, it just smells so sweet and girly. And it also has a hint of floral in it, but mainly like a sweet, girly, fresh. Like think of a pretty fresh girl. Oh, it is very sweet as well. I do really like this scent. I can't describe it right now because it would just take so much time and I don't want to get into being too descriptive because I know that I have a habit of doing that. But I just want to tell you guys it smells really pretty, very light and airy and girly. Definitely giving me like pretty girl vibes and like fruity vibes as well. So I love this scent, absolutely, every time I smell it, it makes me smile. I did hear that she has a Thank You Next 2.0 that came out a while ago. I do wanna pick that up, I just haven't had time to shop for perfumes. Maybe I'll do a video where I take you guys with me and we go shopping for perfumes. Comment below if you guys would wanna see something like that. But yeah, I love this fragrance and I definitely suggest 
getting this for Valentine's Day. It's like the perfect Valentine's scent. I do feel like this is a date night scent, but it could also be a brunch date scent as well. I wouldn't wear this for Netflix and chill. I mean, you could, but I feel like this is more of like a let's go out and do something. Let's go to a movie together. Yes, perfect let's go to a movie date or ooh, even a picnic date. That would be cute. Yeah, for sure. While we're on the Ari kick, we might as well move on to her next fragrance that I love and I think is perfect for Valentine's Day, and that is Sweet Like Candy. Again, you guys already saw the review of this. You guys know how much I love this. This smells like liquid candy in a bottle. Like, and why wouldn't you want to smell like that on Valentine's Day? Like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, if you love Sweet Candy Like, scents you're definitely going to be in love with this one this is a very sweet scent i absolutely adore this scent i do feel like this is a brunch date scent you should you would probably wear this as a daytime date scent you could wear it at night like i said if your man loves sweet candy like stuff definitely go for it but it's not like a strong sensual scent it's just a really pretty sweet delicious scent so yeah daytime date if you're interested in getting this one or trying this one out, I would do daytime. Woohoo, you guys. And next on my list is probably one of my top all-time favorite scents for Valentine's Day. It is Victoria's Secret's Teas. You guys, this is such a sensual, sexy scent, you guys. I cannot even describe. If you're into like 50 shades of gray type, of a deal definitely put this on it's very feminine but masculine at the same time it's just really really sexy scent more of a musk with a hint of fruit it's like a sweet musk i do love this scent a lot i cannot get enough of this you guys every time i wear this scent i actually wore this the other day on my way to set and i went to, through a drive through to get some food and the guys in the drive through was like what what is that in your car and i was like excuse me he's like no you smell so good and then another guy walked up to the window was like oh my god i can smell it too you smell so good so you guys definitely guys love this scent so if you're a single girl you're trying to catch girl get you this if you're a girl who has a man he's definitely going to probably be in love with this scent it's just so sexy and central and it's just a fun playful sexy scent it just smells so good this just reminds me of black lace and handcuffs baby so if you have not tried this scent definitely check it out especially for valentine's day it is so nice okay loves and next on my list sticking with victoria's secret we're gonna move right into victoria's secret love you guys this is actually a new fragrance for me you guys did see me review this already on the channel so you guys already know what i think about it you already know about the notes in it the up top notes the middle notes the down notes this is not a typical scent that i would wear myself like on a daily basis or something that i would pick up or gravitate to this is is definitely more of like a a musk like a perfumey musk but there's also like this freshness to it as well this just reminds me like a Calvin Klein ad is what this reminds me of like I don't know it also reminds me of like being in Paris like a love story like being in Paris Ooh, it reminds me of like white clean bed sheets and, like your boyfriend's t-shirt and he's got like rock hard abs like a Calvin Klein model in a way I don't know but this this is giving me like Angelina Jolie type masculine femme vibes but also very very sexy and sensual so I do like this scent and I would suggest this for Valentine's Day I know in my review video I was like oh I don't know when or where I would wear this to but honestly I think Valentine's Day would be the perfect time to wear this scent I do feel like I will probably pick this up during valentine's day definitely a nighttime scent if you will i mean you could wear it as a brunch scent but it is kind of a strong musky scent not musky but yeah musk like a strong perfumey musk aquatic type scent fresh watery type scent so yeah i would definitely suggest this if you are more of a masculine aquatic fresh type of um, perfumey girl the last perfume you guys that I have that I would suggest 
picking up for Valentine's Day if you haven't already or just wearing this for Valentine's Day is Beautiful Mess by Gabby DiMartino here on YouTube. You guys have heard me rave about this since so many times. I mean, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I've posted tons of photos and reels and stories about this scent. I love this scent. It's just the perfect sweet bakery pastry gourmand scent girl if you want to smell like a cupcake then this is the scent that you want to get if you want to smell like macaroons this is the scent you want to get so if you're more of a sweet person and you like those type of scents definitely pick this up oh my god it smells like pistachio ice cream oh it's just so good and I'm also getting like this bubble gummy scent I don't know where that's coming from but it's like it's intertwined it's just so good you guys and it doesn't help that the packaging is super adorable like why not I would put this perfume in more of a brunch date type of scent I probably wouldn't wear this at night it's not a sexy scent so I would definitely go for a brunch date scent with this. Okay, love, so that was all of my Valentine's Day perfume suggestions that I have for you guys. These are the perfumes that I have been loving for Valentine's Day season, even though I am single as right now it is okay um, your girl will be feeling sexy and nice and sweet for herself so yeah those were all of my favorite Valentine's Day scents for 2022 um, I do want to share with you guys now some of my Valentine's Day fragrance mist and like lotions that I would suggest if you're not like a perfume girl or if you don't want to spend like um, 40 to 50 bucks on the perfumes and you just want to go for fragrance mist I do want to share that for you girlies here so we're gonna get into that right now the first scent that I would suggest for Valentine's Day is like the perfect Valentine's Day scent in my opinion is the Bath and Body Works love this is cotton candy and champagne by the way you guys that is the scent this smells so freaking yummy like I can't describe to you but I will tell you the notes it is bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. What you smell mainly is cotton candy and strawberries. That's what you smell. It smells like you're rolling around in cotton candy and strawberries. Um, so if you guys have not tried this scent, do go ahead and pick it up if you love sweet scents. This is perfect for Valentine's Day. It just, it smells like candy, you know? Um, that's what we want to smell like, right? The next fragrance mist or scent that I would suggest for Valentine's Day is a Boardwalk Taffy. You guys, I have been wearing this every day. Oh my God. Recently, I don't know why, I'm just in love with this scent. The notes in it is spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. It smells exactly like that. Only thing I will say about this scent is it is extremely light. So you do want to layer it with the body cream or the lotion. You definitely want to continue to spray yourself throughout the day, throughout the night. So if you do pick this one up, just know that. But this is like the perfect sweet if you want to smell like sweethearts, get <laughs> this scent. I would probably wear this as like a Netflix and chill type scent because it doesn't, it isn't that strong. So it's definitely giving you more of like, I didn't even try vibes. Like, let's just hang out and chill and watch Netflix. So definitely a good scent for that. I also feel like Love Cotton Candy Champagne is a good Netflix and chill type scent if you're into that. The next fragrance mist that I have is from Victoria's Secret and it is Pure Seduction. You guys, this scent, I just recently re-picked this up. This is so freaking good. It just, it's the perfect sensual but also fruity scent. So if you're a person who likes fruit, it says that there's freesia in it. I don't really smell the freesia, um, but it does say freesia. If you're, so if you're someone who likes freesia, but mainly juiced plum. If you love like a juicy plum scent, this is so good. It's also extremely potent if you're interested in that. Um, but it just smells mainly like, to me, is this more of a musk? It's like a perfumey, musky, berry scent. It's just really sensual, very sexy. Definitely a date night nice scent, girl. This will, mm, that's all I'm gonna say. Check her out, she's really, really nice. Okay, love, so the next scent that I have is from Victoria's Secret, and this is Velvet Petals. You guys saw me recently pick this up. I have been loving this. The notes in this is Lush Blooms and Almond Glaze, and you guys, oh, I don't even like florally scents, but for you girls out there who love floral, this does have a hint of floral in it. 
it's just a really pretty set. I can't really describe it. I definitely feel like a creamy glaze type, a sweet floral set. So if you guys are into sweet florals, this is the one for you. It's Velvet Petals by Victoria's Secret. I'm obsessed. I would definitely probably wear this as more of a nighttime scent because it is giving me like sensual vibes. Although you could wear it for brunch date as well. I don't think that I would wear this for Netflix and chill. It's not giving me Netflix and chill vibe. It's definitely giving me like, let's go out and get busy and do something. So. Okay, so next on the list is also a Victoria's Secret set. This is a love spell. If you know, then you know, and if you don't, why don't you? Because love spell is that ish. It's, she's it. She's it for Valentine's Day scents. The notes in this is cherry blossom and fresh peach, but this just smells so good. It's really strong and potent. It's definitely a sexy scent, definitely giving me date night vibes like take me out on a date i want to sit down and have dinner you know that's definitely what this is giving me it's just the classic classic love romantic sexy scent the next two scents i'm going to show you guys one is from bath and body works and the other one's from victoria's secret both from limited brands and both are pretty much the same scent you guys is Forever Red and I also have Victoria's Secret's Rouge Elixir. So Bath and Body Works Forever Red and Victoria's Secret Rouge Elixir. This is the same scent. If you guys don't believe me, just pick them up yourselves and try them out. But these both are the perfect date night scent, you guys. They smell so good. I will read the notes for both of them for you. Um, so the Victoria's Secret notes are red currant, almond cream, and absolute decadence. And the Bath and Body Works notes are fiery pomegranate, red peony, and rich vanilla rum. I would say that this definitely smells more along the lines of pomegranate. Definitely a creamy, almondy scent to it. It's like a warm, sweet, woodsy scent as well in the background. Definitely more of a fruity, sweet musk. You could push it to a musk. It could be a must because it has like a light woodsy smell in the background. But you guys, this is the exact same scent. Definitely a very sensual scent. Definitely a date night scent if you guys want to, you know, turn up the heat a little bit. You know what I mean? I would definitely go for this scent. Um, the only difference I could tell in these two scents is Bath & Body Works is a little bit more watered down, a little bit um, diluted and the Victoria's Secret scent is a little bit more potent so depending on which you would prefer to go with if you prefer something a little bit lighter I would go with Bath and Body Works if you prefer something a little bit stronger I'd go with Victoria's Secret I do feel like maybe possibly Victoria's Secrets you could wear no Victoria's Secrets it has to be a nighttime scent let me see yeah, these both are nighttime scents for sure. But yeah, you guys, I love these scents and I think that these are perfect for a Valentine's Day. So if you have not smelt these, get into the store and check them out. Okay, loves, and my next scent is also from Bath & Body Works. This is Strawberry Pound Cake. You guys know I love gourmand, I love sweet, I love cakey, pastry type scents. I want to smell like a freaking cupcake. If you want to smell like freaking strawberry cupcake, on Valentine's Day for your man, get this. You will smell like a freaky, juicy, freaky, not freaky. You will smell like a freaking juicy strawberry cupcake with this freaking body mist. I am not playing with you guys. I love this scent. Okay, so the next scent is the Champagne Toast scent. I have the Shimmer Mist here, and the notes in this is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. This is just an all-around good scent. I can't say enough about this scent. I am not gonna bore you guys with me going on and on about this scent. It smells so freaking good. This is definitely a Netflix and chill scent. I could also see this as a brunch date scent as well. So, yeah, definitely a daytime scent or kind of a laid back, not non-formal scent, if you will. Definitely check this out if you guys have not already. And then our last fragrance is by Bath & Body Works. And this is my all-time favorite fragrance from Bath & Body Works, I think. 
Don't quote me what I want to say out of all the fragrances at Bath & Body Works. This is currently my favorite. It is Cashmere Glow. You guys, I wear this a lot in the fall time because it's definitely a warm central scent. It has amber, um, sandalwood, creamy, cashmere, sweet type of... I don't even know how to describe it, you guys. I don't... Ooh, it's just so good. It's like a sweet, warm, soft musk. It's just so freaking good. If you haven't smelled this, you have to smell this. It just reminds me of like rolling around in like a cashmere sweater and being snuggled by someone. Probably my cat. But yeah, it smells so good, you guys. I'll try and pop the notes up on the screen. If I don't mention any notes, it's because the notes aren't on the packaging and I don't really have time to go look them up. But yes, you guys, I love this. As you can see, I'm almost out. Now, what I will say about this is I think you can only get it on bathandbodyworks.com. I went in stores and I have not been able to find Cashmere Glow for like a year now. And I was hoping they would bring them out for SAS, but they did not have them out for SAS this year. I do have one more backup, so I have a little bit of time before I have to rush and find another um, one. But yeah, you guys, if you want this scent, check it out on Bath & Body Works online. The store doesn't have it. But yeah, you guys, I am obsessed with this scent. This is definitely, to me, an all-around scent. You can wear this for Netflix and chill. You can wear this on a daytime brunch date. You can also wear this as a date night scent as well because it's very sensual in a way, but it's also kind of carefree and light. I just love it, you guys. This is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Okay, loves, that was it. That was my top Valentine's Day scents for 2022. I hope you loves enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We are on the road to 20K, as you guys know already. So yeah, check me out over there. But other than that, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Bye, guys. And today's shout out goes to Crystal Davidson, Shania Snyder, and Queen of Random Things. Thank you girlies so much for being a part of this family and hanging out with me. Happy Valentine's Day and I can't wait to see you loves in the next video. Okay, bye guys.